let's move this ones okay move this ones away from our situation uh, even though we won't see anything on the floor but maybe we can take a floor all the way down i don't know we see now because she's sitting in that position great so what i will do i will scoop her out as it is and put her exactly as it is in your palm like what like what all right let me lift my light up okay a bit towards you so we just scoop her palm this way yep so she will come with the head this and bam bam in there if she allows us all right we see how she goes if she is not happy and close to your body that's it put your palm up that's it <gasps> oh, and then you come with your head this way that's it not too much not too much okay closer to me a bit more closer to me that's it push your chin forward that's it stay there mommy oh my goodness that's so good now i have a little bit of a situation here that's it just hold her there that's it mm -hmm. you can go with this one even higher all right perfect mommy close your eyes perfect stay there all right just a tiny bit this way stop there that's it now i will change my settings a bit awesome okay i need more power stay there because now we need more power 64 that's the one perfect now let's fix just a little bit so i can see more face perfect now push your chin again that's it Awesome, stay there. Perfect. Okay, eyes to me, lift your chin. That's it. <laughs> Relax your forehead. Perfect. Now you can kiss her. Yes. Perfect, stay there. Long chin. Yeah. So good, so good. Long chin again. Beautiful. Stay there, I just take her without, now push your head back and I will take her in your hands without any shots like that. That's it. Just perfecting little, little things. And it's there so we cover it. Oh my goodness. You wanna see? Oh, you can't. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, we try one more time because now we got her kissy kissy long. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Mm, yes, okay. Oh. It's the last one. Okay, kissy, kissy again. That's it. Stay there. Stay there, 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 there. In 50. A bit more. <laughs> It'd be more now. Come on. In a 34, so I don't need to go with ISO, it's too high. Okay, ISO too much. That's better. Okay, put your head again into it, push it towards me, close your eyes. Mm -hmm. A bit more straight, and now closer to her. That's it. Stay there. There's the one. Aha! Uh -huh. Little smile. That's it. We got it. <laughs> and bring the slice closer. Perfect. So the light is in perfect position, maybe a little bit lower, because this prop is a bit lower. So we bring the light to the level of the prop, edge to the prop. And then we take baby Cleo out. Yeah. And try to unwrap her slowly. Oh, such a good girl. She will be able to go in some nudies because she's such a good baba. I have a white underneath so I can put her in white. <laughs> she had the V sign on her forehead or she has a spot on it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, now I can see it. It will go away soon, I think. Oh. Ah, so could be genetics a little bit. I could see it. I could see it. Oh. Hmm, where are you going? You need to put your legs up on your belly. Which one? This one or the other one? Like that. See? That's it. You got it. Shush, 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 shush. No, Becky. Oh, my goodness. I'm so It was just a bad dream. Let me see. Just a bad dream.
we'll do one with a bow and one without okay miss sunshine miss chloe you listen to me and you've been such a good girl until now and then somehow I disturbed your sleep somehow. Here you go. That's perfect. That's how you sit there. Here you go. Now, Miss, should I put you a headband? I will put you a headband. Why not? Because you're so cute. Beautiful. Let's see how is the slide going to be. If that head is, headband is too big, I will change it, okay? I need to turn this away towards you because it's bleeding a little bit of light. Even though I like it, because it gives me so much uh, good light to film in here. But it's not the right light to pose, Miss Chloe. Okay, so we go to F2.0, ISO 200. Perfect. Hmm, I still have this bleeding in. Sorry. So let's go lower a little bit on this one. Could be a little bit too much light for my liking. Mm -hmm. That's better. That's way better. Good job. Awesome. I may change the headband because it's a bit too big for my liking. Ah, oh, here they go. This one will suit you. Mm hmm Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Okay, that's a perfect picture. Such a good one. Without much of a drama here. One from the top. Perfect. Now, if I go with this here, mm
Yeah, perfect. Okay, fix that headband. Yes. Perfect. Awesome. It's 200, which I need to stabilize it because it's moving. So before you shoot, make sure that everything is placed correctly and then you can shoot the baby. Now let's put the light to see in the right position. We put the phone down and we set up this light to have a little bit more support. Awesome. We bring the light down. To baby Cleo's face. Awesome. And now we've set up the prop. We'll photograph her from there in there. So we need a little bit of space in here. So we move all the things around. Awesomeness. Baby Cleo, let's see how we go. Does she fall asleep? Or does she will be a bundle of joy in this pose? She can't do much in uh, this situation here. All right. We need some pillows behind her. And I do like this pillow too because it's purple and we don't need to do too much. If I don't like it, I may put it right there under. Maybe clear. So I don't need to do too much Photoshop issues with things. Okay. Now, I need more pillows around this prop because this is not very stable. Cool banana. My camera. You're good. Thank you. So let's put her a headband. Just hide everything behind so nobody knows what it is. I may need to change my settings, but we will see. Whoa. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, we can go even lower than that. Well, let's go in 64 this time. Oh, well, that's better. We can go higher a bit. In 28. Okay, 128 is good. I will increase my ISO at 160 just to have a little bit more of light on the shadow side. Okay, perfect. Baby Cleo, you're amazing. <sighs> Look at this. Mm. Okay, one more from this side. Again, let's go this around that so we don't see anything. Awesome. Perfection. One hat and I bring the other light. This was so good. I'm sorry, Mommy Drew. Such a good one. Let's put a hat and we move on to the next one. I will just bring the other light. Well, before I do that, yes, hat. 
I'm so sorry about that. Uh. Mm hmm. Because look at your tricks. Look at those tricks. Oh my goodness. All right. One picture of this. We bring the other uh, the light very fast to pictures, and that's it. We move on. Mm -hmm. No more pictures here. Let's compare the Einstein with the VL with the Godox 200. Perfect. Oh my God. <laughs> She's such a doll. She's such a doll. We are still in um, Godox 200 with F2.0. My shutter speed is, is at 200. I left it there at 125. I saw. Perfect. <sighs> the little one, I need to uplift it a little bit. But it won't be a problem. All right. Yes, baby Cleo, you're such a good girl. Such a beautiful girl. This one, we will turn it around once that we start filming. I will turn her around. Unwrap her and we have the cream wrap underneath. And we can show some leggies. Yes, let's show some leggies. Because I know we can show some leggies because I wrap her in such a way that we could. Let me sit down for a second. <sighs> She's so out. Here she is. Here he, she is with her leggies. Dear, dear. Beautiful, big Baba, beautiful. Mm -hmm. She's done it. And now we put some wraps around her so we don't see any situation there. And we help her a little bit with this pillow. Yes. Beautiful, Baba. She's done it. She's done it super nice. Hmm. What is that look? I will see how she looks better. Perfect. We turn around this light because we don't need it anymore. And now we take the test shot because we've been in a different setup. Okay, her head. Oh my God, that's a good light. I just need it a bit higher. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> now you're smiling? What are you doing there? Why are you smiling without me? How is this? Is it better? But what is missing? It's missing a little bit of headband. Little bit of a headband. I don't like that feel. Oh. 
I do like that pillow around your neck a bit. It's okay. Oh. Oh. Let's put you some headbands so you look beautiful. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's it. Oh, now you're perfect. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Perfect. Awesome. So good. Now, let me see, Bobby Lissimo, if I can take a shot from here like that. Yes. And stop dreaming. Oh, uh, no grumpy. Then keep dreaming. It's fine. <laughs> good girl. Good, good, good girl. She's perfect. Now, let's see if I can push you more that way and this way a bit more. Yeah, now you know. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Boom, bumpy. All right, let's see if I take a shadow one. How does that work? Not bad at all. Not bad at all, Missy. And this is better. Put her in photographer right from here. You see how she looks so relaxed. She has no problem. It's like this, the same thing, like show, show, show. I've seen you. I've seen you, Baba. Yeah, I've seen you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. No, <coughs> Much. Wait. Yay. Oh, you good girl. Are you dreaming? She's dreaming, she's dreaming, so I need to stay here because she will give us a smile in a second. We can do it. Where's my smile? Oh, perfect. Beautiful. Well done. Good girl, good girl. Good girl. Awesome. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. She's done the most amazing job ever. <laughs> I need a headband for her. And we are so done. 
Head bend. Come on, give me this. See how it is this one, maybe it's too big, but we will see. She went into, she goes in the poses so good, like without any hassle. Can't believe she's done. This is so big, but and tacky. <laughs> you should see this. Oh my god, she's like going to that Melbourne Cup. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, are you serious? Oh my goodness. Oh, come on, miss. <laughs> we are done. <laughs> we are done, Bumblebee. It's so good. You're so done. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> She's still sleeping. <laughs> She is still sleeping like an angel. <sighs> She's like, I'm dreaming. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Yoy, she was just smiling. I see you. <laughs> I'm just going crazy here because she's so cute. Where are you? Which one is this one? I don't know, but I will take this one, whatever it comes. Okay, if you're done, you're done. <laughs> He's waking, waking. Oh my goodness, <laughs> she's so sleepy dozing off there. Ooh, okay, we are done because I could continue until tomorrow. Here she is, all done and stunning, and we are done. So, we are done for today's session. Baby Chloe was amazing, 8200 was with PLM 64 PLM umbrella, and she was a smaller umbre umbrella. Baby Cleo was amazing. She went in all the poses and we've done double the amount of poses. So she's all done and dusted. See you in the next one. Bye. Oh, she's rolling her eyes. Let me take you in the session images and let me show you some examples. Now this session is 320 images and it's this big because i did shoot in the session with the two cam with the two lights godox 200 and my einstein now the next video what i will do it will be a comparison between the 8200 and the einstein what i focus on this video it's only over the 8200 godox 8200 can we photograph a baby in a family with Godox AD200? So as you've seen during the session, I photograph the baby in different poses, beanbag, I photograph the baby in props, I photograph the baby with mom. So here are the first images with mom and I will take you through them. 
the AD200 behaved very well. Now, what I can say is because AD200 doesn't have um, modeling light, it was a little bit harder for my camera to focus, but it wasn't too bad. You can um, still leave a little bit of light around the corner somewhere to make sure that your camera will focus. Like I had in the background, this is where I transitioned to Einstein, and Einstein was in the background somewhere far away, just the slither of light was coming in. As you see here, the AD200, it's a little bit cooler than the Einstein, so it's, it's still beautiful. Now, AD200 was with 64 PLM and Einstein was with the um, 81 PLM umbrella. So that was the first pose. The second pose, what I've done, uh, the th second pose is this uh, prop. And here she is, baby Chloe, again lots of angles but the images they look amazing in my eyes why i photograph the baby with ad200 is that i will try to take the ad200 on the roads and i don't want to carry a big umbrella setup or a big light setup with me um, it's much easier to have a pocket light and yes you can use ad200 and for me i love it another setup with baby chloe was in this yellow i think it's looking great look at this shooting from the side here is still beautiful light over baby chloe this is where i moved into the einstein and you see it's warmer cooler warmer but and maybe AD200 because it had a little bit small umbrella the shadows are a little bit stronger and this is a little bit more softer but not a big difference and the fourth setup it was this one here where we moved into this pink backdrop I believe you can use an 8200 Godox with no problem. I can see um, no issues with this. It's just that you do need to learn how to shoot without a modeling light. It comes to that in the end. And this is where I moved into the... You see... AD200 Einstein is just warmer and I shoot warmer um, if we turn this to images you see AD200 Einstein is just that warmth in there and the transition of the shadows but with AD200 like I said you need to learn to do the proper settings and make sure you focus on the right eyes and uh, you're not scared of the darkness because you don't have that modeling light and then the last last setup what i've done which is amazing it was baby chloe on the bean bag but i can't see a problem with with the light as it is so side pose and then we went into chin on hands baby chloe went straight into it and i will show you an edited image of this image because that's what i edited and i brought brought it to the same uh, settings as i do with my einstein with no problem so there is no reason why you can't shoot with ad200 i'm not sure how it will be ad200 with a bigger umbrella will it give me softer shadow will it be enough but i don't think you need a better umbrella or a bigger umbrella for AD200 just because it's such a small pocket light so AD200 for me it's a winner and now let me show you some edited images so this is my style where I sit and you see it's I've brought it back to the same warmer tones 
as I shoot but if you shoot cooler you shouldn't have any problems and again in Photoshop in Adobe Camera Bridge you can make your tones go from cooler to warmer tone you see these two images both of this was shot with my Einstein this was shot with the 8200 there is no difference like you you can do the job you just have to make sure that you know how to shoot in a more um, darker environment without a modeling light because if you know where the shadows are falling to make sure that the shadows fall nicely down and you know how to set up your light then you shouldn't have a problem because it's a beautiful great light so godox 8200 can be used for newborn photography with no problem